or two diamond paintings and no, Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Today I'm unbagging for you two diamond paintings and two cross stitch kits that were gifted to me by Paint Some Way. We'll do the cross stitch first. So I did get these back in early October, but as I had all the uh, Spooktober stuff scheduled, I have had to put them off until now. So thank you to Paint Some Way for sending me these items and also for your patience in waiting for me to do this video. Much appreciated. So let's go. Eee. Be careful not to cut the actual canvas. You can tell I'm out of practice because these weren't even pre-opened. Normally I have all this stuff pre-opened. Alrighty, so here's the first canvas. Ta-da! So you've got your standard tool kits with some Ziploc bags. We always love the Ziploc bags. You have your diamonds in the silver striped bags. Um, oh, it's got 666. I know, I'm always going to say it. You're just going to have to get used to it. So this is this cute Asian couple. I think it's a, meant to represent a wedding. Uh, and I just loved it when I saw it. And there's 20 colours in it. There's lots of red. And they've used letters and symbols. Got to remember all the things I need to usually say because as I said, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't done one of these for a long time. Alrighty, so it's advertised as a 40 by 40, but it comes as a 34, probably I would say by 34. Yep. So it's a 34 by 34. Bring you in for the drill field. So it's a nice clear drill field. Uh, there is a lot of red in this one. So you would probably want to use a light pad. The drill field is printed quite clearly so there's no problem with actually reading it that I can see. Now this was gifted to me in euros so this costs six euro and 91 euro cents. So I'll flip her over and we'll have a look at the drills. So there's your first two colors or your rear two colors being colors 19 and 20. So the bags are good. They've got all the information you need on them. It's got the corresponding colour number, the DMC number, and your kit number, and all of those other numbers that I don't know what it means. But there are the two colours, the 19 and 20. So let's commence the drill colour train. Now, as remember, I don't give cute names or try to explain the colours because I totally can't. So <laughs> they are what you see on screen. They all look really good. Uh, as I've never had problems with these drills in these bags. There seems to be, is that, oh, there's lots of 666. I'm really happy with that. Of course, holding it this way, it's 999 <laughs> but there's lots of 666 so lots of nice reds and yeah that's black so minimal black so that's okay and some other there seems to be a few stowaways in that one but beautiful colors like the colors let me just pop these away okay here is the second kit should probably bring you out again for this one So again, standard toolkit, no zip locks with that one, but oh, it's pre-bagged so they are forgiven. <laughs> so 
So let's have a look. So we've got this one here, which is a 40 by 30, and it's a wave with a whale and a big sun. I'm sure that is actually coming through quite clear. You can see that quite well. 20 colours in this one as well, and it looks like it's all letters used on the legend. So 40 by 30, which means it's probably 24 by 34. Yeah, 34 by 24 and a half. And this one was 5 adult euro and 40 baby euro. I just I love the colours in this one and the style. It's that uh, the printing is I wonder if that's Mount Fuji in the background there. It reminded me of very Japanese when I looked at it. It's printed quite nicely. It's clear to see. I think it's just a really cute image. So if I just flip that over and we'll have a look at the colours. So there are 20 colours. And remember, make Sally happy because they're pre-bagged. So we should be able to, if I bring you out again. Whee! Alrighty, so we won't put them in number order, we'll just put them out. 20! So there's definitely all colours are present and accounted for. So you've got your number, your kit number on the bag, your corresponding bag number and your DMC code. So there's very muted color tone, but I think that would be for the sky. Uh, yeah, and because the whale, maybe those colors are for the whale. But it's, um, I like the color palette on this one. I love the image. I think it looks really quite pretty. The drills themselves look good. They can't see any, the dimpling, I can see a lot of dimples on the bottom, but that does not matter. That does not affect the diamond painting at all. It's if there's like dimples or chunks of it missing from the top that you worry. Can't see really any tags or trash. They look quite good. But yeah, really happy with the drill quality here. Not a problem at all. So let me put these away off camera. And bring out the diamond paint. Oh, sorry, bring out the cross stitch, which is a first for me doing diamond paintings and cross stitch. Okay, so here are two cross stitches I was also gifted from Paint Some Way. So we'll have a look at this one first. It is uh, a no name brand or an unknown name brand they have on their site. It's 11 count and it's pre stamped Now all my cross stitching adventures have been in countered cross stitch. So it's going to be interesting for me to see how I go with a stamped one, which technically should make it easier. So there's the image. It's a really cute chibi looking Japanese girl. So with this kit, you've got, oh, that's quite, it's like shiny it's on shiny paper like this is on shiny paper so it should be less easy to destroy so <laughs> you've got your pattern there so to let you know that it's uh well up to 170 stitches each way so it's not quite 170 stitch and it's not a uh, full background you just stitch the main image so there's 24 colors i'll move that there you get some instructions on how to cross stitch if it's your first time. Now this one is 11 count, so it's three strands. And here is the actual canvas and floss. So let's have a look at the canvas itself. So there's the needles. So you've got, it's being 11 count, the needles are slightly thicker and quite blunt I am stabbing them into myself there and not feeling it at all obviously you don't do the white background you just do the main image and this is not a color representation at all of what the image is this is what the image is 
So nice and big so I will be able to see what the heckins I'm stitching which is perfect for me. Now as I said there was 24 colours and here are your colours all sorted out for you nicely. So if I show you this side first. So I've got some really pretty colours in there. Nice greens. Nice colours. And the other three, oh sorry, the other five. God, I can't count. Six. One day she will learn to count six colours uh, here. And this is obviously 22 is going to be most of the background, I imagine, because there's a lot of this one. And it is a beautiful colour. <gasps> Love it. 22, yeah, that's all these yellow bits. That's what I, when I watch the unboxings of these stamped ones, my brain has such trouble with it which is why I want to do one for myself because this is all going to be this color when it's finished but to show you it's bright yellow <laughs> and 16 what's color 16 it's pink here and oh it's, it's close and like it's a white lighter pink there so that's where I find my head is trying to work out the, this is not what the image this is what the image will look like but this is not the color scheme of what the image would look like uh, so it'll be really good to see and I thought if I got a big one an 11 it's going to be really good for me to practice with and obviously when you're done you soak it and all of this color comes out and the lines and everything so you're just left with the pretty image so that is a really nice one. Uh, as I said, it's not a branded one, but I, I'm happy with the quality of how it came. And I guess like diamond painting, you don't know how good something is till you start working on it. But from this perspective of what I've seen so far, I really like the image and love the color of the floss. So let's pop this one away. And we'll bring out the second one. Okie dokie. So here is the second one. And this is a Joy Sunday cross stitch brand. From what I've seen on other channels, Joy Sunday is the brand to go to uh, now for budget friendly cross stitch kits. So I thought I would grab one of them as well and give it a shot. And I thought this one was quite cute black and white cats with some mice so let's have a look inside again it's printed on nice paper it's, it's like um, glossy paper so it's not going to be easily destroyed so you've got your pattern if you wanted to free stitch this yourself at another stage now it's got your instructions on full stitch and what colors are full stitch, uh, three quarter stitch, a French knot and a back stitch. French knots I am awful at so I'm really gonna have to practice them. I think they might be for the eyeballs. Of course you don't have to do the French knot if you're not good at the French knot you can just do a cross um, but it would be good practice to French knot again. So it's only eight colours on this one. There's the needles, two needles, 14 stitch. So you only need two threads. It's actually only six colours by the looks of things because there's two lots of... Are they the same colour? They look the same colour. So yeah, it's only... It says five colours. So it's only five colours. So that must be black as well. There it is. Okay, so they're two white ones. Those three are the black ones. And then those are the other colors. The colors are here. So you've got, oh, four and five. Yeah, so you've got color one, five, seven, and eight are the black. Color two is the gray color. Color three is the light gray color. And color four is the skin tone color. And colour 5 and 6 are the white. So yeah, they've not quite hooked it up the same to that. But you can tell the colour as you need it. And there's the symbols. 
So it's a 150 by 164 stitch size. Um, and again, you don't do the background, just the main pattern. But that looks cute, and that being a 14 count is also perfect for my eyesight. <laughs> so yeah, I like that. The yarn or the floss looks good, and you'd only need two threads, as I said. So let's pop all this away and come back for final statements. And also answering the question about me. <laughs> now for my question or my little snippet of information about me. I got a question from Elizabeth from Brisbane. So hi Elizabeth from Bri Bris Vegas. I'm answering the easier of the two questions you sent me in today's video because <laughs> I'm still thinking of an answer for the first question. So for this question it was what do I like to do other than my crafting stuff? Well, I am a gamer, a gamer girl. I love gaming. I've got my Xbox, my PS4 and my Switch. And I love playing games, violent games, cutesy games, walking simulator type games, horror games. I just love games. Um, there are certain types of games I really don't like, like fighting games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, that sort of thing. Not into that, but love a lot of um, action adventure. Like I love Assassin's Creed. I love the Far Cry games, anything around that. Um, yeah, so I, that's a big thing I love to do. Um, I also like to read mostly horror stuff again, uh, watch a lot of television, uh, but that's in aid of also doing crafty stuff. So I guess that's a cheat. But if it's got Jared Harris in it, I'm very happy because I've got a big crush on Jared Harris at the moment. Uh, I don't know where that's come from, but I just do. But that's the sort of thing I like to do. So I hope that answered your question. Thank you everybody for watching. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you know when I have uploaded my latest video. Leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you and will always answer. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you feel necessary, but let me know why your thumbs downing so I know what I've done wrong and probably won't change it, but I still need to know. <laughs> anyway, so everybody, please, no matter where you are, stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.